the Prime Minister and the Pig's Head, the necrophiliac extremism of a bestial for later. While he was a member of an Oxford dining club, David Cameron fucked a pig's head. He snorted coke in his quest for upper-class girls and called it woodling when he took them to bed. The pig's head had been severed for a club feast and initiation rites of crude bestiality. Who would have thought he'd go on to greater things, like waging war and enforcing cruel austerity? Pranksters have now given the pig its own Twitter handle, hashtag piggate, in which the pig complains of a nasty taste in its mouth that the future premier left behind when he climaxed and came. The Bullingdon Club is notorious for its culture of despising the disadvantaged and the poor. But the ghost of a dead pig has now exposed Tory excess, and with any luck will be showing them the door. The hapless premier is now greeted by cries of oink, as supermarket bacon gives him the eye. Captive pigs now text him in the hope of their liberation. He regrets not keeping his penis in his fly. People will be looking at his wife and wondering how she matches up to a dead pig. People will imagine his Tory chums praying and cheering as they watch this loose necrophile frig. But at the time it was fun to rape the face of a dead animal while dressed up in a tailcoat with silk facings. It was fun to fuck a pig's head while snorting white powder. It would surely add to the gaiety of nations. At the same time, this young conservative was campaigning for Nelson Mandela to be hanged. Yet, to fellow Tories, this, and being noshed by dead pigs, was not in the slightest bit strange. The hot-blooded Cameron advanced upon the pig's head, held between a Bullingdon diner's thighs. He grabbed it by the ears and plunged himself inside, making boisterous grunts, then satisfied sighs. Later, he'd callously scrap the Human Rights Act. He'd kill 12,000 in Libya. He'd sell weapons to the nastiest Arab dictators while promoting a plutocratic utopia. Through his sharing the U.S. fetish for bombing, millions would seek a safe haven, but when faced by the consequences of his actions, he'd callously look in the opposite direction. Cameron's an avid fox hunter and a devotee of drones, killing animals and triggering assassination. After sucking up to media moguls to get himself elected, they're now savouring the pig's reincarnation. <laughs>